Assalamualaikum So let's look at the answer I just want to touch on the answer first On the quiz that you have did On grammar It seems like the highest is still 19 Okay uh, let's look at question 1 The answer is Are you seeing Okay what time are you seeing Azahara tonight Oh not until 8.30pm Bila akan berjumpa Are you seeing Alright my train doesn't usually arrive at 8.40 am but there was a delay today uh, maksudnya train untuk hari tu memang lewat dah so that's why they're talking about the delay I understand why you answer arrives usually but then uh, in that situation it shows that the that the train is already delayed alright next one uh, what's wrong the lady that we are gossiping we're talking about the action of gossiping so that's why it's that we are gossiping about all right after that um i make the beds every day and then how many houses does your aunt own and then next one honey talking about a person so that's why who is my best friend usually got common is from a single parent this is a compound sentence Okay, that's the hotel where, talking about the place uh, where, so that's why we use where there. Uh, I can't believe my eyes, Arif is doing, because when the person is talking about this thing, uh, the action is ongoing, that's why he is doing. I don't know the reason why, okay, everybody got it, one correct, good. Mr. Afik, whose daughter, whose daughter is in my class um, whose daughter is in my class uh, whose is used because of the possession meaning the daughter of Mr. Afik uh, the daughter of that person not Mr. Afik of that person who talked uh, about the sentence alright are you staying with my grandparents for long this summer next one uh, because I'm not going away after all uh, what are you thinking about and then Nakio doesn't often visit because of the thing because they chat on the phone on the phone nearly every day it shows that they don't meet but they always call each other or phone each other um, when it's not where it's not which it's when because of the time January Okay, um, that smells delicious. Eh? It smells delicious. What is it? I'm making chicken pie. Okay, so I think now it's the click I like the most. So there's nothing there. And then he is having a wonderful time. Miss Fakria, whom I spoke to yesterday, is my son's math, math teacher. And then the last one. Um, Meeting his relative in Australia is something that Mohamed has always wanted to do. Alright, so let's go on with looking at the questions that you have did in the last class. We are still in week 22. No, we are in week 22 today. So for number one, someone's coming. Remember, work and at work is important. To use when you are writing especially writing stories to show it more lively lah. someone's coming to save us shouted the boy excitedly all right number three um, leave me alone with the exclamation marks screamed this is important. Sometimes we tend to use wrong punctuation. Scream angrily. I'm going to win this race. He told. Uh, decisively. Okay, try to go write in the comment section. What does this mean? I seldom uh, see student use this word. Uh, this has been the best day of my life. She sighed happily. Okay. 
Sai can also be happy. Alright. And then another thing that important is adjective. Adjective is important to describe the character. It shows different feelings. So it is important when you are writing a story to use adjective as well. Okay. Um, number two. Fear. Talking about fear, she was terrified. So this is number two. Thank God. Thank goodness I found it at last. I'm so relieved. So this one is number three. The girl. Sebab jumpa. Uh, they been to get to talk with Romantan, but now he was too exhausted. Penat. Penat number four. And then the last one is she felt desperate. There was one thing could do can help. So this is number five. Okay, moving on to the next part. You have done this one, right? So for today's task. I want you guys to do this one, the vocab, the grammar on the page 28 and then continue on to do this one, circle the correct word and then do number two, complete second sentence so it has the same meaning as the first sentence. So they already give you the first sentence. So it, it is the same, uh, it needs to have the same meaning. That's the first one. So, always asking here. And then, the word that they want you to use is time there. So, your answer must be between two and five words. It can be two, it can be three, it can be four, it can be five. And you need to include the word uh, given. For example, it's always asking his daughter to tidy up the room. So, Dan has asked his daughter to tidy their rooms time and time again. So, I'm giving you the first one. So, time and time again, the pick depicts the word always asking. Asyik tanya, asyik minta. Um, I'll give you another one. Second one, grandpa has retired and, and is really enjoying himself. So, grandpa has retired and is having the time of his life. So, these phrases shows that grandpa is enjoying his life okay so try to do number three until number six uh, it is like collocation it is like phrases that shares meaning lah. so we'll try to do that one this one sick ni dia lebih kepada they don't want to lah and then fell to lebih kepada argue so try to find it's just two answers eh, two words this one is longer lah. three words it should be uh, three words and then number five it should be two words recipe we have talked about this in previous exercises in this unit and then the last one is about revenge so it's two words revenge need two words yeah but to finish this one need four four words right and then continue to do number three use the sentence and then number four and then again number one you can use present simple present simple is just the word alone tengoklah singular Ada ES ataupun ES. Ataupun plural word. And then present continuous. Which is IS ataupun R with ING. And then past simple. Uh, can be with ED or irregular. And then past continuous. Sama jugalah. WAS, WER plus ING. So they already give you the word lah. So, try to think of which is which. And then, do number two. And do number three. Number three is the same thing. Between two and five words, they already give you the word there. Uh, I give you an example for the first one. 
as a boy Ben was scared of the dark so masa dia kecil je lah sekarang dah tak takut dah so as a boy Ben used to be scared of the dark and then I give you another example number Number two, we never stayed at grandma's house when we were young. When we were young, we didn't use. Tak pernah, tak, tak biasa duduk situ eh. Didn't use to stay. Alright, so try to do that one. And then the last one. Number four. Complete the sentences with the verb in the bracket. Use past simple. Past continuous ada ing tu, uh, was, were plus work with ing, and then used to and or would can choose either one. Alright, so the uh and then if you have finished this one, try to do the. Uh, the materials that I gave you guys yesterday, for our spring now today. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you very much, guys.